Hi, my name is Hamid. I'm a certified instructor at ASM Educational Center. Today, I'm going to talk to you about Cisco CCNA. A topic is called Port Security. So let's see what that means. Let's say we have PC1, PC2, PC3 with the IP address 10.10.10.1, 10.10.2, .10 and 10.10.3. 10 okay, the goal is this PC3, which is located here, is connected to F03. We want to secure that port. That means just imagine this PC3 is in lobby. Is I don't I, I want only PC3 come connect his laptop to port three. I don't want anybody else to connect that. So this concept is called port security. And the goal is to I want to protect port F03 located in lobby and make sure that only PC3 which is cells should be able to connect to that. Okay. So here, that's what we have. We have PC1 as 10.10.1, PC2 10.10.2, and PC2 connected to port F3, which is in lobbies, okay? And the hacker is going to be 10.10.4 for this. So as I mentioned, the goal is to protect F0 to located in lobby and make sure that only PC3 can be connected to that, okay? So I go to my packet trace I have it here. If this comes up. Right here, when I go to PC1, I already configured that I've typed in IP config. I can see that I have an IP address if you can ping 10.10.10.3. So I can ping dot three, okay? Alright, and this is a hacker is so later on we're going to use that. I'm going to say IP config. And this one does let me give IP address here. This one's going to be 10.10.10.4. 255.255.255.0 and so on. Later on, I'm going to simulate them what, what happened when hacker is connected. Okay? So, the step by step, you have to do that. If you look at my notes, step one, make sure you enable port security. Now, hint, you must go under INTF0 and start with the what? Switch port question mark. That's a key word. You gotta start, you gotta be under INTF00. So you're going to say INTF00 right here, which we're going to do right now, and it's in switch port question mark. So I'm going to go to my router, my switch again. I'm sorry about that. Let's go to the switch. So I go to my switch right here. Okay. Config T. You're going to say INT what? F0 slash 3. Now why F03? Because according to the diagram, we want to protect PC3 is connected to F03, okay? So what are you going to say? You're going to say what? Switch port question mark. Now we're going to use what? Port security. Port security question mark. Now here's look at where we have. We have one choice, two choice, three choice, all of that then enter. The first thing you have to do, you have to make sure enable. I press enter. Now, as soon as I press enter, you're going to see message. Let's look at that. See, look what happened. It's still rejected. Why? Because by default, this is dynamic port. Is. So what I have to do, I have to make it static. How do I do that? I'm going to say switch port, question mark. I'm going to say what? Mode, question mark. Then I'm going to put what? Access. So that's what I have to do. Enter. Then I use operator key, switch port security. Okay, control Z, when I say show sure run, I will see that. So that's first step is, you gotta make sure you make it, make this port enable that. In order to do that, you have to have a mode access, okay? That's step one. Now let's look at our notes. Okay, that's why I did all of that. Again, as you see that, you're gonna get error here. As a hint, make sure you do above and that's make the port access. Step two, define how many MAC addresses can be connected to that port. The default is one. So, if you write show run, it will not be seen by default value. What's going to happen if you don't give any value? The default is one. When you say show run, it will not show up here. So in this scenario, I'm going to say again config t intf03 switch port security question mark. Then I'm going to see what maximum. See maximum. I put a question mark. Then I'm going to put two. I just pick two so I can show you the concept. That's all it is. You can pick any number you like. So I'll go back to here. We'll go back to my switch again. So you're going to say config T again. INT F3 slash 3. Switch port. Port security question mark. Now we're going to do one by one. First, I'm going to do maximum. It doesn't matter which one you do. Maximum question mark. 
the default value is one, so I'm going to put what two, okay? Two. Control Z, show run. So here, see, I have maximum two right now, okay? All right. Step three now. So we do that. Tell what is the MAC of the PC connected. Hint, it can be connected in two ways. I can do it statically or what? Dynamically. Dynamically, that means you got to use the keyword stick. Statically, that means you and I, we can type it in. So let's do that right now. I'll go back to the, my packet tracer again. Okay. So again, you have to go under where? Everything has to be under this port. Config T. INT F3 slash 3 switch port port security question mark I've done the maximum now I want to say what MAC address MAC address question mark now look what happened I can choose sticky sticky means what as soon as I plug in my laptop as soon as I connect my PC I do some kind of activity my MAC address is going to go inside that sticky means that's it it's automatically so let's put sticky first Question mark, enter. Now I'm going to use upper key, backspace. Now here I'm going to put some MAC address. In my notes, I use uh, 2222. So I'm going to do 222. So let me do 222. I'm just making up. 2222.2222.2222. Enter. Control Z. Let's check the work. Show run. Again, all the work, remember, that has to be where? Right here. So switch port mode access, switch port security, maximum two, sticky, and all statically, okay? All right, now, let's go to next step. Tell switch what action should I take? We have a bunch of action. I can do what? I can shut down, see, I can protect, I can restrict, and I can shut down. So I'm gonna explain what each difference is. So let's go back there. So this is action is, so I'll go back to the switch right here. So I'm going to say what? Config T. INT F03. Remember that you got to be under F03. Why? Because that's what we're trying to protect. Then you're going to say what? Switch port. Port security. Question mark. Now you're going to say violation. What kind of violation do you need? Violation. Question mark. Now have three choices. Protect is nice. Restrict is a little bit harder. And this is the toughest one. Protect means... You know, if somebody come, if hacker connect at somebody which is not valid, MAC address, it just drop the packet. Restrict means it drop a packet, but it will send SNMP message to the administrator. Shutdown is means it's the hardest one. It's going to put the port on disable more and send SNMP package that. Now what's going to happen if it's shut down, which we're going to see that, nobody com can communicate. Protect means it's just protecting. It's still somebody else after it can communicate with other devices. If the SL3 comes, it can protect. Restrict means it can communicate. Shutdown means there's no communication. So you as an administrator, you have to go say config T, int F03 slash F03 slash 3, press enter, shutdown, then no shut. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put shutdown. Now the shutdown is the default is. What that means default, if I type in show run, now look what happened. It does not show on what default. It doesn't show on show run because that's default is. So that's a default. You gotta be careful, okay? All right. So let's go back to here. So that's what I did. The default is shut down. It will not show up show run. See when I do show run, it does not show up right here. As we see, default value is not shown above, okay? Now I'm gonna to go on PC3 and ping, okay? Let's ping that. Now then we look at the show run. Now look at this. When I look at the show run right now, sorry about that. See when I say show run, see it's the only word sticky. Now look what happened. So I'm going to go to PC one, do some activity. So I say ping 10.10.10.3. So I'm going to activity, okay? So PC3 is replying back. Now if I go back to the switch, now look what happened. Let's say show run. I go down. Now, see, it pick it up. It pick up the Mac of what? PC3. How do I know that? See, 66C. Let's go PC3. Go to desktop. Go to command prompt. IP config forward slash all. 
see 663e that's the mac of what pc3 so as soon as you do some kind of activity it's going to show up right here okay all right so so far life is good we're securing the port right now okay nothing has happened yet so later on we're going to simulate a hackers we're going to simulate some problem so i'm going to go back to my notes okay so it shows right here all right now here's a before violation is show port security int f03 so let's look at before violation it's always good to see what's happening so i'm going to what show port security question mark you need what interface f0 slash 3 now look what happened it says enable it says what up that means life is good up means life good this is the violation mode how many mac i i'm going to use what two total mac is two one is configured and one is sticky and this is last there's no violation okay so there's no what violation right now okay so that's what that is right here so it's secure up this is key part to room remember that and this is key you gotta remember you have to enable that and there's no violation now i'm gonna i will remove the cable from pc3 and hackers will come and connect to port f3 so let's go see what's happening okay i'm gonna do some activity so i go to my packet tracer i'm gonna delete this sorry about that delete these things then i'm gonna connect a cable go here hackers come connect to what port 3 now look what happened when i go here i try to some activity this ip config have that ping 10.10.10.1 what one now look what happened it's not working so what we did we simulate a problem now look what's going to happen here let's just wait Okay, see no activity. Now, when you go back to my notes, now after that, I'm going to type in what? Show port security int f0. So see that? Secure what? Shut down here. And also, I see what? One violation. And also, it give me a what? The Mac of what? That. So let's go back to here. Go back to here. And you see some kind of activity here. See that? So I'm going to use upper key that. Now, look what happened secure shutdown and one violation remember before was what let me show before if it was secure up that means life was good zero violation now this just shows what the mac of the who has been violation so if i go back to here and you see that and also in the diagram you see what color is ready so i'm going to type in ip config forward slash on i can see the mac is what 11 ac if i go back to my switch see 11 c okay so right now is shut down the port okay as i mentioned that this is the hardest one what's going to happen in order to solve the problem we have to when we remove the cable when you connect you have to go to physically you have to go to that port intf03 shut and no shut so let's look at my notes okay as we see i have what in secure shutdown now here's another command you can do that you can see it's called down error disable show int f03 let's look at the switch again so go back to the switch show int sorry about f0 slash 3 now look at the top see it says what error what disable it says what error what disable so to solve the problem what do we have to do i'm going to move the cable i'm going to delete this let's say life is good i come back when i go here connect this still is red why is that because i have to go what i have to go here config t let's look at my notes i'll show you my notes okay so error disable okay now i said let's look at the port that is i did not configure port security i put f01 now so i just want to show you the difference you got to be careful in real life um, right here so I'm gonna go show I need to insert F01 F03 I'm gonna say F01 F01 I didn't do any port security see that oh sorry show int port security F01 my fault now here see that 
is what disable because I did not what enable that okay so the key is you gotta make sure as I mentioned that you have to what enable that that's the first step you have to do you have to say config t int f01 that means you have to do this but config t int f0 slash 3 switch port port security question mark you gotta make sure what press enter to enable that okay all right so that's that one as we see in this case i did not enable portuguese so i will see this there you are how do you fix it yes i'm just have to go to that port shot and no shot okay so let's do that and let's check the work so i'll go back to my switch um get back to here i connect the cable again see cables can see shut down see when it says show int f03 it's see what error disable how do you fix it you have to say config t int f03 you cannot just say no shot you have to say shot first then you guys say what no shot then if i check it show int f03 you're going to see what connect up up and let's see if i can ping again that three let's see if i can ping so that's how you fix the what the oh right now oh it's, it's still in this it's not finished yet it's you have to wait until it get green eventually it's going to come up so it takes time because remember that spanning tree is happening here too so to summarize this let me go back to here let me say summarize show run what do you have to do step one you have to say enable port security and one of the things we learned that you have to show port i mean switch port mode access you have to make access because it's dynamic number two you have to say how many you want maximum two then you can do sticky like what i did sticky will pick it up then violation the violation does not show up here because that's a what default values okay all right let's try again all right now we have activity so life is good okay i hope this was beneficial Again, all of these, uh, we're going to be on our website. Our website is www.asm.com. If you go to blogs and you see CNN, it's going to take you to this page. Here, where we put all our blogs here with that. For example, let's say this is GR Tunnel. When you go here later on, you're going to see the pictures, the, the, the PowerPoint, the, the lab, and also we have a PDF here. And also we have the, the wording exactly what i taught show you my words i'm gonna have then we're gonna have what youtube also okay if you have a question or comment you're welcome to call us at 301-984-7400 or send us email at info at asmed.com thanks so much you have a good day have a good day bye bye and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you have a good day